Hi everyone! For those of you who don't know me, my name is Melissa, and for my Closer Look page this week, I decided to look at General uh, Stanley McChrystal. He was the commanding officer in charge of American and NATO troops in Afghanistan in 2009. Um, I thought he would be a great case study. His time in Afghanistan would be a great case study for us uh, as we start to discuss adaptive leadership. Uh, I personally think he is an adaptive leader, but he's definitely not perfect. He's a pretty controversial figure, so I thought that might really open up the floor for debate on whether or not he is an adaptive leader, and then hopefully that'll help lead us to a definition of what an adaptive leader is and what uh, characteristics um, they have. I should get, provide full disclosure, I don't know much about the military, so if any of you guys have been in the military or know someone who is and can offer better perspective on how to approach this case study from uh, the viewpoint of a military personnel, then I would love to hear from you in this discussion. Um, because he is a controversial figure, uh, and which is another reason why I chose him, um, not just because I think he's an adaptive leader who was put in charge of a um, messy situation in Afghanistan, but he provides a great uh, example of an ethical dilemma in that he chose to speak openly and critically of the executive branch's decisions uh, about the Afghanistan war, and um, this actually led to his resignation. He was only in charge of the troops in Afghanistan for a year. Uh, then a Rolling Stone article came out, a profile about him, in which him and his aides are quoted uh, to be very critical of Vice President Joe Biden and um, President Obama's strategy in uh, the Middle East and their counterterrorism strategies. Uh, so, but m the ethical dilemma that I chose to analyze is less the Rolling Stone article. I think if you read it, and I post a link to it in um, my Closer Look page so you can see for yourself, but I think, I think it's pretty obvious that he was unprofessional in that article, in, that, in his interviews with that um, Rolling Stone writers, Rolling Stones writer. Um, so, but but even before that article came out, he was openly critical uh, um, of the decisions made around the Afghanistan war after he was put in place of the troops. He, um, despite the public opinion and the um, American government's hope to withdraw troops, he spoke openly about the fact that uh, the they just needed to send more troops to Afghanistan if they wanted to win the war. Um, and this is generally viewed as wrong within the military. Uh, so I chose to use his openness um, t and his uh, willingness to speak with the media about these issues to... Um, I chose this for my ethical dilemma. Um, so I'll let you guys uh, read my um, closer page. I give a summary of his time in Afghanistan and a bit about his background and my reasons for why I think he's an adaptive leader. Uh, and then I also, like I said, I um, go into a bit the ethical um, analysis uh, about his um, choice to speak openly about strategy uh, military strategy in Afghanistan. And then I leave you guys with a few questions. I'm looking forward to the discussion this week. Um, two are pretty basic, just I want to hear about your opinion and wh whether you think he's an adaptive leader or not. Um, I argue in my Closer Look page that the um, he is an adaptive leader, he just failed to act politically um, and did not fully understand his role within the military. But I, w I would love to hear if you can think of other ways that he's not an adaptive leader. Um, and then I also want to see if you think he's unethical or not in his decision to speak openly um, and critically about military operations in Afghanistan. 
Um, and then, but I also want to, I'm curious because I decided in my ethical analysis to not look at the situation from a care-based perspective. Uh, I personally am, am and was against the war in Afghanistan. So I found it from this perspective, I found it hard to be objective, um, harder than looking at it from a, a, a rules or utilitarian point of view. And I'm curious if you find the same, uh, find that to be true for you as well. And if, do you find that it's easier to be objective um, when you look through a certain ethical lens? And if so, which ones? Uh, I'm looking forward to this discussion and I hope you guys enjoy my Closer Look page. Bye.